Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. Today we are going to be coating the wheels on our brand new Tesla. Um, these are the 20 inch, I'm not gonna act like I know the name of these wheels because I don't. Um, but anyway, we're gonna be uh, putting a coating on it. I'm gonna show you guys how to prep, how to coat them. Um, or what I would say is if you are, uh, just bought a brand new Tesla and you don't feel comfortable using ceramic coatings, Take it to a professional, okay? Um, that's what I would highly recommend. Um, or you can do it yourself if you would like to learn. Um, but the problem with that is if you do leave high spots and stuff like that, then it can create a bigger issue than a non-coated wheel. But this is for example purposes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Um, today for prep, we are gonna be using the Rene Doyle Double Black Collection of paint uh, coating surface prep. I love this stuff. I've used the G Technique panel wipe and had issues with it, so I don't like that stuff in my opinion. We are going to be using the G Technique C5 uh, wheel armor. This is, uh, I love this coating for wheels. Um, another one you can use, you can actually use uh, inspiration from PNS on wheels because of the, the heat temperature that it goes to. Um, so that's another really good option. Today we we're gonna to use this just because I have some of it and I was gonna go through the rest of it probably. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get it prepped. Um, I For wheels, I just spray it straight on a towel just so I don't get it all on the brake rotor. And you wanna get any surface that you're gonna actually coat. We're not gonna do wheels off coating on this um, until I get the special little jack pieces because Tesla makes it very difficult for you to have to, for you to take your wheel off at home. So you have to get these little mounting points for underneath the car and it's just a big pain in the butt. So I haven't got those yet, so I can't jack up the car. Sorry, my daughter's in the background a little upset. But here we go. We're just gonna do a nice little wipe down. They're brand new, so they don't have anything on them yet. I mean, they got some tire shine over spray on them because you know, the detailers there were I mean, it was a little sloppy in the way things were done on it, but we'll fix that. It's not too big of a deal, honestly. So I'm just going to go around the whole, whole wheel, make sure they're nice and clean. And they had a little bit of dust on them just from driving it home and driving it around. We're going to leave this door shut. Okay. <laughs> My daughters are still in there playing video games on the car. Very expensive game console, if you ask me. Anyway, so, but after I get this jacked up, I'm gonna try to get these red calipers back here. I'm gonna coat those too. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down since I'm here, but I can't really get in there and coat those right now. All right, so we're pretty much wiped down at this point. I mean, they're pretty clean for the most part. We're just prepping them at this point. All right, now comes the fun part. So, as I said earlier, we're gonna be using C5 wheel armor. There's lots of other wheel coatings out there. Um, this is just the one I seem to like. It's easy on, easy off, and provides really, really good protection. If it has sat for a little while, one little tip is on the top there. You're gonna to wanna to wipe down anything that might be on there just so you don't get little scratches. We're gonna apply a couple drops. Wow, that was way more than a couple drops, wasn't it? That came out fast. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna just try to get in every little spot.
All right, so there's the application of it. I am gonna be doing two coats of this, so for what it is, I mean, you don't have to do it as precise as doing it on paint. On paint, it's like you're doing, you're overlapping and stuff. On the wheels, I kind of just get it on there. And then on the second coat, I usually go a little slower. Um, but for now, we're gonna just get it on there. We let it flash for a little while. And then, okay, you might not know what flashing means, but we're just gonna wait until it gets like the rainbow effect, essentially. And then we're gonna wipe it down. Which it's already starting to do. You really want to make sure you don't miss any on wipe off because that's where you get what's called high spots where you still got a nice thick amount of it on there. Okay, it just doesn't look good. There we go. I wonder if it shows up that it's much different. I'll have to look, go back and look at it. But I can see it. it they're, they just got a little bit more of a sheen to them. Tesla did a great job for stock wheels. I mean, I just really, really like the way these wheels look. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go around, do the rest of the car, come back and we'll do a second coat on this. All right, so now I've gone around the whole vehicle, um, prepped it, coated them. Now we're going to put on the second coat. Um, now it's really important to do a second coat, in my opinion, just because, you know, better longevity, of course, and better thickness of the actual coating itself. And uh, so you might be thinking, well, maybe not, but maybe if you are new to what a ceramic is, you might be thinking, well, why ceramic the wheels? Well, to ceramic the wheels, ultimately it's going to make them the biggest benefit is keeping them clean longer. The other benefit is making them really, really easy to clean. Um, in a normal vehicle, since this is electric, it's not gonna be the same, but in a normal vehicle, when you ceramic wheels, it's gonna really, really help uh, keep the brake dust from sticking to the wheels. Um, in an electric car, it does a lot of regenerating of the with the motors, the electric motors and all that, so you don't actually use the brakes nearly as much, which is really cool, because for longevity of the brakes themselves. Um, but ultimately, you're not gonna get as much brake dust as a standard car. So you don't have that as much of a worry. Um, but with a regular car, you get a lot of buildup with brake dust. And ceramic on them, it keeps that brake dust from really sticking to the wheel as much. So also makes them stay cleaner longer and so much easier to clean. So in case you were wondering and you wanted to listen to me babble, there you go. So anyway, there's the last coat right there. We're gonna buff this off, wipe it off, and then that's it. Um, so that's really ultimately how you use ceramic wheels. And if you are interested in having us do it for you, uh, feel free to give us a call, look us up online, uh, look us up on Facebook, Instagram, all that cool stuff. Uh, Andy's Auto Care Plus, andysautocareplus.com or just give me a call. Um, or if you got questions about how to do this, you can give me a call too. So um, if you don't have my number, uh, it's in several of my other videos, 541-730-7759. I know it's kind of crazy that I'm putting my number out there, but still. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you are a Tesla owner, or a, well, if you are a Tesla owner, congratulations, and I'm glad to be part of the family, as this is my car. 
And if you are thinking about buying a Tesla and you just kind of stumbled across this or whatever, I will put a link to a uh, code down below that if you, you if you order a Tesla through the code, you'll end up with a thousand free supercharger miles. Uh, and then I would get a thousand free supercharger miles. If you are gonna buy a Tesla, definitely, definitely use a referral code. You don't have to use mine, of course, but if you do wanna use mine, it'll be down in the, the description. So thanks for watching. I'll also have all these products in the description if you are a Tesla owner and wanna do this yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.